what's happening y'all hunting with Hadaway this past weekend was dove season and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get any video of uh, many kills I think uh, I went to a shoot Saturday never fired a shot went to a shoot Sunday I think I shot at eight killed six and found four so and that was all afternoon but me and my little buddy is going to grill up some dove and quail this afternoon I'm going to show you how we do that. It's a real simple recipe. I think you'll like it. Let's take a look at what we got here. I think we got 10 dove. I haven't counted them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We got 10 dove and we're going to do 5 quail. Um, if you've never had dove or quail, there's an obvious difference in the meat here. The quail is white, white meat, and it's going to be just like a chicken breast where the dove is a darker meat or a redder meat and it's going to be more like a um, if you've ever had duck it's similar to duck it's kind of a one of a kind taste either you like it or you don't <clears throat> I had them soaking in a water slash salt mixture the salt helps draw the blood out of the meat um, some of these were shot up pretty bad it's first of the season so these were most of these were young dove who've never been shot at and they just just about land on your barrel when you shot them and uh, they got shot up a little bit unfortunately Sunday this is all the dove that we killed out of about eight nine people that's all the dove we killed so the seasons kind of started off rough if you're curious why, I, why I've got the pan sitting on the stove it's because my little buddy's sitting over here taking up all my space She's kind of chilling out, watching Daddy get this stuff ready. But uh, let me show you how we're going to season them up and, and prepare them. The dove and quail we're going to wrap in Kelly smoked bacon, okay? We're probably going to use a half a strip for the dove and a whole strip for the quail. But uh, we're going to season them with a little bit of nature seasoning and a little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit of black pepper okay you don't want to go crazy with your seasonings on this meat because it's going to be wrapped in the bacon you're not going to lose much of your seasoning it's, it it's going to stay on the breast so you don't want to over salt them or anything like <coughs> so that. let's get started on that all right i got me some uh toothpicks i've had soaking here for a while and some water we're going to take this bacon and get it wrapped around them. Alright, this is thick cut bacon. We're going to use half a piece on our dove and a whole piece on our quail. Obviously, you don't need this big piece to go around that little bitty dove. So, we're going to save bacon. <clears throat> what you, what you want to do is just wrap the bacon around the dove. A lot of my... I tell you, my daddy used to take little mushrooms and stick them up in here and let the mushrooms cook in there, but uh, we're not going to do that today. I don't have any mushrooms. <coughs> lap them over, lap the bacon over each other, stab them with a toothpick. You only need one. That one's done. On the quail, a whole piece is going to go around them just about twice, probably. And these quail are these quail are farm raised quail. I didn't kill these. Uh, we bought them for I think two fifty a bird. We got twenty five of them. Should last us through the winter. We'll just wrap them, wrap the quail the same way. Jug a toothpick through it. Baby, look at them things. They just ready for some charcoal and some hickory. What's happening, y'all? We out here at the grill. Got my coals about right. Scrub this whole grill down a little bit. We're gonna cook some fine vittles. Got my little buddy hanging out out here on the swing with me. Hanging out with the thermosel because the skeeters is bad. 
All right, I got dove and quail, okay? It's your decision whether you want to cook them direct, which means directly over the fire, or indirect, which means off to the side of the fire. I'm going to start the dove off directly over the fire, but I'm going to put the quail indirect. So then, because they're a little bit bigger, they're going to cook a little bit slower than the dove. Before we do that, we're going to add some hickory. Got a handful of hickory chips been soaking in water. Gonna drop those right around the edge of the fire. And that'll get it moking, moking. Be happy. Let's get these dove on. Hold on, baby. We're putting all of them down, bone side down to begin with, okay? Heat the back of it up, heat the back side up, then roll it over and finish cooking it. Now let's put our quail over here indirect. We're just going to let them moke a little bit. Moke, be more better, be happy. <coughs> just how I like it. Let's close her up. Close my close my smoke stack up a little bit so I don't have such bad flare ups on this. We're running about 250. Let's see what it looks like. It's been about 10 minutes. Just like I like it. Just right, just right. Look at that smoke rolling, son. Woo, baby. Let's, let's check them. We might move these dove over here indirect and let them chill out over here about a quail for a little bit. See the bacon's good and brown. Let's move these puppies over here. Let them chill out. Well, firming up just right. Just like I like it. <laughs> Close them up. Popping. Take her little doves up, they done. And take these quail up, these babies are done. Son, Look at her boy. Look at her. Ooh. Look at that happiness. Ooh. That'll hit me right there. Look over here. Look what else I got. Got some black eyed peas with bacon in there. That'll help me. Oh yeah, baby. I've been doing some rice roni because I'm lazy. I gotta cook for mama. Stand by. Two cups of water. Shh, don't tell mama. Be a happy. You saying a blessing, Father? Say it loud. Amen. Real quick for those who don't know, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between quail and dove. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hold on, baby. See, this is the quail, okay? Look how white and pretty the meat is. Kind of like a chicken breast. Let's open this dove up right here. See the dove is a redder meat, similar to a duck, as I said earlier. 
but it is so fine. <laughs> Fine, Macy. Which did you like better, Dove or Quail? I like this one. Which one's your favorite? Yeah. This one or this one? I think I like the Dove. You like the Dove the best? Uh-huh. That's excellent. What's the thing about that? Mm, it's pretty good. It's good. It's good. That's all that matters. What about you, Mama? It's good. Which one you like best, Dove or Quail? Dove. Really? Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. Because <laughs> yeah. Quail's so much of a prettier, cleaner looking meat. Yeah, but it's 